Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I have a guest who is my namesake, Patricia. And she is from Australia. So I'm going to hand over the mic. I'm really just talking to her on the phone. And she's going to share some testimonies and her heart, whatever God has laid on her heart. Patricia, thank you so much for joining me in this ministry to encourage others. And I just welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope God blesses you for doing this tonight. Thank you, Pat. That's that's wonderful. And I really um, am glad I have this opportunity to uh, give a little insight from someone who lives across the uh, the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. But um, when we think about the problems that uh, young women and, and women in general um have in their lives, it really isn't that much different when you're in a toxic relationship. That's right. And, and this is one of the things I'd, I'd like to mention right now. Um, it's unfortunate, but women feel compelled to have a man in their lives. And it really isn't the best way to seek happiness. And if you're a woman who is craving for that, then you need to put yourself into prayer to ask God to bring the right man into your life. Uh, one way we, we do this is uh, we get on our knees and we pray. And you allow God to work in your life, but you can't uh, speed it up. It's it's not something that you can say, well, look, I want it now. I have to have it now because what will happen is that you will find the wrong man at the wrong time and the blessing is gone. It's removed. So women need to be um, more thinking in the line of, well, if I want a long marriage uh, and if I want a man to really love me, then I have to leave it up to God. What do you think about that, uh, Sister Pat? Hello. Exactly. Hello? I would. That's exactly. That's an expression. That's an American expression for you are right on point. <laughs> yeah. Hello. You know, that's the way we say it out here in L.A. But I'm telling you, you hit it right on the head. There are so many of us women. I've been through it when I was young. Oh my goodness, I was ridiculous. I would sit there and and feel so incomplete without a, 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 a pair of pants next to me. Just to have a pair of pants in my life. Breath and britches. Oh boy, it's a man. I got a boyfriend. I got a date. whoop de doo I mean, a man could have been a good-for-nothing joker, but I'd be all excited because it was a man. Come on, you ladies, we got to stop that. There is there there are a lot of insecurities that cause us to hanker after a man's attention. There are a lot of of empty holes in our souls that that make us uh, feed off of nonsense, and we'll feed off of it like it's real, and it's not. Oh, go on, Patricia. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. It's your two cents as much as it's mine. <laughs> What I want to say to all the ladies out there is that, yes, life is very different around the other side of the planet. Um, it, it's very different, and I've lived in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm English by birth, mm -hmm. and when I married the first time, uh, 41 years ago, I married, uh, my first husband was from Vietnam, but he was Portuguese. Mm. And uh, that marriage only lasted 11 years. There was, there was no violence in that marriage, but it was toxic. Right. My yeah. second marriage, believe it or not, was to a gentleman who I still keep in touch with and who lives in America. And um, he actually uh, is, is black American. And um, I still love him, and I told him just recently, because he's actually dying now, that I was extremely sad that our marriage ended after five years. But, of course, 
Um, he came to Australia. He lived here. And we have a son together who's 24. Right. But unfortunately, that marriage had to end because it was also toxic. Patricia, and, may I yeah. interrupt you and ask you to explain what toxic really means in relation to relationships, what you're talking about? Well, toxic is many things uh, to many people. I think domestic violence is, is one of those things. Yes. Um, I also think that because we weren't on the same page, uh, it was a mixed marriage, and his life was very different from mine, mm -hmm. uh, but there was a lot of love there, right. a, a great deal of love. Right. But often, uh, you know, when you uh, don't understand a person, right. uh, that, can, that can turn into toxic. Yes. Have, yeah. You know, if you marry um, into a family who um, also are dysfunctional, I always tell, I have three sons, and uh, I tell my sons, if you want to marry, look at the family before, before you first even look at the girl. Because when you look at the family, she's a product of that family. Exactly. And so you're looking for now, if you're a Christian... You're looking for a family who have good roots in the word. Right. The girl should have those good teachings that, that have been passed down to her. Right. And that goes for the man. Exactly. You must look at the foundation of a building before you even start to think about renovating it or building on top of it in the case of a marriage, or even just buying it. The foundation is pivotal. Mm -hmm. Right, but it is when, pivotal. When we're young, uh, Sister Pat, we, we marry because, as you said, we want a man in our lives. Right, right, right. And the same can be said for guys. Mm -hmm. They want the female in their life exactly. to complete them. Right, right. Let me the say, only person who can ever complete a human being is Jesus Christ himself. Exactly. Exactly, Patricia. Exactly. Let me, let, let me just interject in here real quick, and we'll move on, uh, on to the next video in a minute. Listen, some of us have a foundation. Some of us have a Christian foundation, and some of us just have a worldly or, or secular, non-Christian, or another religion as our foundation, another belief system, be it religion or philosophy. But listen to this. When your foundation is cracked, your house is on shaky ground. And many of us are on shaky ground with a cracked foundation that is cracked because of insecurity, cracked because of emotional scars, unresolved emotional scars, cracked because of unresolved anger issues, which affects our temperament, which affects our relationships. It all comes down to the foundation. What, you, whatever that foundational thing is, if there's no balance in the foundation, if it's not level, your life will always be out of kilter until you get that foundation fixed okay i'm gonna that's stop absolutely mm -hmm. right that's so that's so right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yeah. patricia would you mind if if uh if we end here to give them something to chew on there and then we'll come back and have another video real quick that's fine that's okay. wonderful thank you so much everybody think about what we talked about get the foundation going right Lay the right kind of foundation, and you will find that your life has balance. If there is strength and much growth. You hear me? God bless you. And remember, the best foundation is God. All right. We'll talk in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.